Welcome to School 2020. In this video, we will discuss some important topics of Chapter 2, Cells and Tissues of Organisms. Nucleus The dense organelle present in most eukaryotic cells, typically a single rounded structure bounded by a double membrane containing the genetic material is known as the nucleus. Structure study Number 1. Nuclear membrane The membrane that encloses the nucleus is called nuclear membrane. Double layered membrane composed of lipids and proteins contains pores called nucleopores controls the transport system from the nucleoplasm to the cytoplasm separates the contents of nucleus from the cytoplasm number two nucleoplasm the jelly-like fluid enveloped by the nuclear membrane is called the nucleoplasm. It is a viscous fluid, contains nucleic acids, proteins and enzymes. The nucleoplasm performs certain functions as such as supporting the chromatin material and the nucleolus and providing rigidity to the nucleus. Number 3. Nucleolus The round, dense structure attached to a chromosome inside the nucleus is called nucleolus. It is non-membrane bound, composed of RNA and proteins, stores nucleic acid, synthesizes protein. Number 4. Chromatin reticulum During the resting period of a cell, when cell division doesn't take place, a thread-like structure reticulate a thread-like reticulate body is found in the nucleoplasm known as chromatin reticulum. Becomes coiled and more dense, more condensed during cell division than are known as chromosomes carry the units of heredity and pass from generation to generation number of chromosomes in a specific species is fixed chromosomes contain genes and thus carry hereditary traits now we will learn about golgi body or golgi apparatus about Golgi body found within the cytoplasm of both plant and animal cell composed of stacks of membrane bound structures known as cistern and vesicles hydrolysis of enzymes take place in its membrane it is involved in the secretion of some hormones plays important roles in many metabolic activities sometimes it stores protein now we will learn about centrosome about centrosome Found in most animal cells, but are rarely found in cells of lower plants. Centrioles of centrosome develop astral rays and construct spindle apparatus during mitosis. Centriole is a hollow cylindrical organelle inside the centrosome. The thick liquid surrounding the centriole is the centrosphere. 
Central and central sphere make up the central zone together. Plastid. Now we will know about plastid. Here we can see the structure of a plastid. We can see outer membrane, intermembrane space, and inner membrane. Then stroma, which is an aqueous fluid. Lumen, inside of thylakoid, lamella, thylakoid, cranum, stack of thylakoids. Definition of plastid: A small double membraned organelle of the plant cell containing chlorophyll and other necessary pigments is known as plastid. It is the most important or cell organelle of plants. Structure study Chloroplast Green plastids are called chloroplast, found in the cells of leaves, young stems, and other green parts of plants. The grana of a plastid captures solar energy and convert it into chemical energy. With the help of enzymes in stroma, this solar energy helps to produce simple carbohydrates from cellular water and carbon dioxide taken from air. Carotenoids are also present in them. And chloroplast is green because chlorophyll in present chlorophyll is present in chloroplast. Chromoplast. They are colored but not green. The photosynthetic pigments xanthophyll, carotin, phycoerythrin, phycocyanin are present in them. The flowers, leaves, and other parts of a plant have their attractive colorful appearance because of these pigments. Their main purpose is to make flower attractive for pollination. They also synthesize and store different types of photosynthetic pigments. Leucoplast. They are non-pigmented, usually found in the parts of plants where sunlight doesn't reach. For example, root, ovaries, embryo. Their main function is the storage of food. They can be transformed into chloroplasts or chromoplasts if they come in contact with sunlight. If you like our videos, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel.